Welcome, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining this session. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about Cisco U. Um, this is a new uh, learning experience uh, from uh, Learning and Certifications Group. Uh, my name is Ashley Roach. Uh, I'm the director of product, actually running running this program. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to cover today pretty briefly. I think we have 15 minutes, right? 20? OK. Um, 20 minutes. And I'm going to go through some of the elements that we have in Cisco U, um, talk about some of the motivations on why, you know, why we built, built this, what the components within it are, <clears throat> and just give you that sense of, uh, hey, this is something maybe interesting that I should check out, um, maybe use for developing my career, and so on. So um, without further ado, I'll, uh, I'll jump in. I'm trying to see. I don't think I have a clicker. OK. So Cisco U, tech learning shaped to you. So you might wonder, OK, well, that's kind of a cool tagline. But why did they call it with that tagline? So about a year ago, uh, we had, uh, I had recently joined <laughs> the team. Uh, and so what uh, I looked at and some of our my colleagues looked at was, OK, we have existing systems for learning um, through learning and certification, so Cisco Digital Library um, or the um, CLN store and the individual titles that you can learn and, and kind of train yourself for earning certifications with that. And um, when, when I thought about this and when others thought about it, we thought, you know, we have sort of different experiences in different places, so we really wanted to try to solve some of that problem. But one of the other problems that we know for all of you is that it's really difficult to know, OK, what do I need to learn when? So um, there's opportunities to learn technical content all over the internet. You know, YouTube, Coursera, just it goes on and on and on. Is that a problem that you all face? Yeah? <laughs> OK. So, one, uh, that is one of the reasons, uh, one of the problems that we really wanted to try to address with Cisco U. So how do we bring some of this content together from across Cisco, from other partners, and so on? And so these three pillars uh, that we uncovered were, uh, are these, which is guidance. Uh, so guidance is really what we want to help you with in that first problem. Uh, community is another big pillar. And the community, uh, as you've seen, right, we all, uh, you all are part of the community, but we actually have a community platform as well where you can learn from mentors, from peers about, hey, how do I get my certification? What about this technology uh, problem that I might have? And so we want to take advantage of that and, and incorporate that into our overall um, strategy for Cisco U. And then the last area is around depth. Uh, as you know, we've been doing this at Cisco for a long time. The Learning and Certifications Group has existed for over 20 years. Uh, really pioneered certs for the industry. Uh, and so we know how to do this. Uh, and so we want to take advantage of the, the technology that we have today uh, and build upon it in the future. So. Some of the components that we're doing within Cisco U are like the following. We want to be able to guide you against roles, the certifications and solutions um, that Cisco's building, but also live in our ecosystem that surrounds Cisco. And so obviously, prep for certs, that's kind of the no-brainer. We, we, we've been doing that. We have that. Uh, but we want to give you insights about the skills that you need in order to achieve within your uh, certification journey or your general knowledge. And so um, we created these learning paths, which um, are based on the courses that we sell today. Uh, but we've provided some things like assessments. And inside the assessment or inside the learning paths, these assessments help you uh, understand what your proficiency level is in a particular track within the, in the learning path. So, uh, I wouldn't say gone are the days, but couldn't think of a better term, but gone are the days where you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I have to go through every single element of this um, learning, uh, learning track. Now the system will be able to tell you and guide you 
to say, oh, you're proficient in these areas. Maybe you should focus in on um, how to configure a switch, right, as opposed to uh, something else like more of an introductory, uh, intro introductory protocol concept. So that, that is a way we are guiding you. Um, and then we're also using uh, AI, so specifically uh, machine learning and natural language processing to recommend content uh, to you within the platform. And so one of the, one of the aspects here that's different, and I mentioned earlier this, this sort of, we live in an ecosystem uh, statement. And what we've done is we've partnered with a company called Skillsoft. Uh, and Skillsoft is a, is a global, um, it used to be called Global Knowledge. They did a reverse merger with a company called Skillsoft. So now they're called Skillsoft. Uh, but this is all types of learning content that we don't build. Right? We, we, we've always stayed away from, well, we don't want to recreate stuff that already exists out there. But going back to that original problem I was talking about, locating the, and, and knowing the learning that would be beneficial for you to have as maybe foundational or um, complementary to the, say, a CCNA learning path, we're going to provide that content in the platform as well. So we're curating it. We're putting that in there. And so if you purchase access to the premium level of Cisco U, you'll have access to a, a quite a large um, catalog of Skillsoft content in addition to this. So the Skillsoft content includes Azure and AWS learning. So you can, if you're learning about you know, hybrid cloud or SD-WAN or what have you, you can kind of just have a one-stop shop here uh, at Cis in Cisco U. So that's pretty exciting. <clears throat> OK, so we kind of covered this already. But the repetition's not a bad thing for uh, memory recall. We really have these um, guidance, community, and depth aspects uh, to the platform. And so I'll cover a little bit of the, uh, the content specifically. But I think what I, I might break the script a little bit, because I probably have time. Uh, and actually just do a demo uh, of Cisco U. So get a little more exciting than me just talking. <clears throat> so learning paths, uh, these are some examples of what we have. So understanding uh, Cisco hybrid cloud fundamentals, that's a new, uh, a new learning path, new content. CCNA, the classic. Uh, security operations analysts. So we're looking at those roles uh, that individuals might want to pursue within, uh, within their career and, and um, creating our content around that. And then within the learning paths, we have courses. So this is like the more detailed learning that exists within the learning paths. And then another new type of content that we are creating is tutorials. So there's a, there's a group on my team that are technical advocates. Hello. <laughs> um, and those, those folks are um, creating some of the content that's like really easy uh, to get, um, you know, get spun up on, but not like you're in a full course. The tutorials will be free. So if you sign in, you'll be able to get access to those, and you can get that learning um, as, you, as you move along. So I think I might just, like I said, I'm going to take a quick detour and give you a demo because, again, like that's probably more fun right, than me showing you bullet points. Um, so give me a second while I switch over here. <laughs> Any questions so far? No? OK. Cool. So I'm gonna I gotta log in. Like I said, went off script here, but since we have enough time, I think it would be great for y'all to see it. <laughs> Logging in. All right, great. So this is essentially a temporary homepage, but it helps kind of with our um, explanation of what Cisco U is uh, before we have the marketing aspects of things built out. Uh, so we're building this in um, an iterative fashion. So this is SaaS software. We want to treat it like SaaS software. We don't want to wait and ship until we have everything perfect in order for you to get your hands on it. So there are, uh, there are features in here that you might say, well, that's incomplete. 
Um, but that's okay. It gives you that minimum amount of value that we can then uh, build upon and get work with you as the community and make this even better for you. So um, just from the outset, you can see like it's shaped to you. We're, we're guiding you. We're saying start here, find your future. Your future. Um, and so there are some options like I want to get certified, switch careers, I want to learn a new skill. And when I click into one of those, it takes me into um, this page. And the first time you log in, um, you have the opportunity to tell the system, hey, what are my interests? So my interests right now, perhaps, are things like networking and cloud computing. So I'm going to carry on. OK, what skill level uh, are you interested in helping the system with, uh, provide you with? So maybe I'll just pick beginner. And then are there certifications you're interested in? We can use these, all of these things, so pick DevNet Associate, to personalize the experience. And so on this For You page, we have recommendations. So we have recommendations on learning paths, so Encore, S-Core, CCNA. Um, we're recommending the individual components that exist within a learning path, uh, which are called courses. Um, we're giving you some examples of communities that you might want to join uh, in order to augment your learning through a community mechanism. We've pulled in podcasts from the CLN network. Um, and we've pulled in um, videos as well. So I'll pop those open in a second. But I want to take a quick pause on the tutorials. <clears throat> the tutorials, um, if I pop one of these open, so creating a con container for your application, these are written um, to be something you could do in like 10, 20 minutes, right? So easy, um, easy type of learning, really straightforward, and just walks you through in a non judgmental way about, OK, hey, here's what um, virtual machines versus containers are. Here's how to install a container runtime. Here's what a Docker file looks like. Here's building the container. And then finally, like, yay, you're done. Run your application. Right? So within like 20 minutes, you can get a sense of, OK, I, I learned a little bit here. Maybe I want to explore more. So you can browse around in the system. You can get recommendations um, from the system. After you're doing these things, we're kind of paying attention and then refining our recommendations over time. So a couple other things. We want this to be engaging. right? We want you to be able to explore and spend time in here. Um, and so we've taken those podcasts, for example, um, and we've embedded them within the experience. So you don't have to go shoot off to another location. You can just play them right here. I didn't think it would play anything. Um, but I think it's, there's no speakers, right, connected up. <clears throat> but this is an you know, inline, inline podcast pulling from like the CLN community. And then last but not least, you know, we have these video collections. And the video collections are kind of like a little YouTube playlist where um, we're pulling, again, these experts from the community who've created this content um, and giving you that opportunity to just find it all in one place um, really easy, really quickly. Um, and you know, when you're on lunch break, you can kind of run through one of these or something like that, right? Um, cool. So the last thing I'll show you real quick, um, got a few more minutes is uh, a couple more hops, um, is this community page. So like I mentioned, um, we have a CLN community. So who here is anyone here a member of the CLN community? Yeah? One, two, three. We have a VIP in the back. So um, yeah, so this is, you know, this is really like, how do we help people know that the communities exist right now? Uh, over time, we're going to try to bring some of the community content back into um, into the learning itself. So perhaps there's a hot topic in the discussions. We could post that uh, along with the learning itself in context. So that could be some really interesting kind of future-looking dynamic stuff. But here's like recent uh, recent discussions from popular communities, so you can kind of quickly catch up on things. The last area is really this dashboard, and the dashboard is designed uh, as a simple place for me to come to see what I've done. Um, not using my, a demo account. This is just my own account. <laughs> so uh, I don't get to do a lot of the actual learning. I get to help build this thing. Uh, but <clears throat> it shows you what certifications you've earned. So another case where we're bringing things together. 
uh, instead of having to navigate out to another, uh, another site to know, okay, is my cert expiring soon? Um, what do I got to do? It's brought in here if you've earned badges. So this is like an internal badge for Cisco. Um, there's external ones that you can earn, and that's all just right, right here in your, uh, in your dashboard. You can also catch up on the learning that you've started. So the, the stuff in my list. So stuff in my list is added there by book, bookmarking the individual pieces of content. And then you can look at your learning history as well. So I think that's probably the extent of my demo and the, and the information about Cisco U. Um, you might be wondering, and I hope you're wondering, uh, hey, how can I get my hands on this thing? So I'll, put, I'll pop this up. <clears throat> and so this slide will send you to a form uh, where if you're interested to try it out, um, we're providing this early access. You have access to um, all the certification courses that are in there now, which I think is about 10, uh, something like that. Uh, that's just free access for now. You can go in, you can learn, you can try out the assessments. We'd love to get your feedback. Um, there, I don't know if you noticed, there was a feedback button floating throughout a lot of the sh screens I showed you. Um, so please submit your feedback. Uh, it won't hurt our feelings if you say this isn't working and this is crap. Like, we know um, we know we want to make this better, and we want to make it. I mean, it all already looks awesome, but I know we can make it better. So yeah, please sign up. Um, you'll probably get an invite next week. Um, so we got to wait till the end of the show, get our sanity back a little bit, and then we'll we'll send those out. So yeah, without that, uh, without further ado, I will th say thank you very much, and hope you have a great rest of your Cisco Live conference.